Welcome to the Lost Village. And it appears that we have had another transformation. These people have called me. I heard their voices. Here is the woman whose magic summoned me. Old woman, what is your station? By the great spirits, you have arrived. I thought your arrival to be merely a vision, but here you stand. O oh, Mech, the holy warrior, praise the gods. Still your tongue, old crone. I asked your station. What is it? Forgive me. My name is Titio. I am the village oracle. Why have you come to greet me, old one? Where is the village chieftain? He is repairing the village, great one. Forgive us, for we are few in number. What of this village? Why was I summoned? It is Quetzalcoatl, holy one. He has returned. What nonsense is this? He sits on his majestic throne in the heavens, not in this pathetic dung heap of a village. No, oh, no, no, sacred one. He truly has returned, just as prophesied on the wall of sorrow. Oh, that little minx. If you speak the truth, then I must see him. Where is he? He stands atop the angry mountain, your grandness. He is using his magic to bring forth the blood of the land to kill us all. The Jaguar Temple still stands? Yes. It withstood both the flood and the rock slides. He intends to melt the very stones of the temple itself with the blood of the angry mountain, destroying what's left of the village. Your tale told of the shaven head Otanmi warriors. Where are they? Quetzalcoatl slaughtered them as if they were children. And now their shades roam the land, trapped here by his wicked magic. Shades, eh? Can they not fight still in these new forms? Nay, fearless one, they are but lost souls, trapped between life and death. Their inability to battle their foe has driven them mad. They rant only crazed things in the voices of ghosts. The Wall of Sorrow. Images which tell the story of this village. We know there is a link between what's happening with Max. And he did mention something about the Aztecs. These are the sacred fires. I'm sure there's going to be a metaphor in this chapter at some point. His soul still dwells here. Spirit, what say you? Shame. Eternal shame. Died in vain. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? I said the son of Tetsukatl? Yes, wise elder. What was your station as warrior spirit? Veteran of many battles, younger brother of Mixcatl. Why do you hang your head in shame, brave one? Good. Not defeat one warrior. All our clan failed to stop just one man. Well, Quetzalcoatl was more than just a man.
They have honored Quetzalcoatl with this statue, and he repays them with destruction. He too has been slain by the evil god. This water is impure. Where did he go? Oh, there we go. Spirit, what say you? Failed. All. Could not defeat one. Wait, where has the statue's body gone? What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Mixcoatl. Elder's war chief. Elder brother to Witzelop. You were the war chief? Yes. Victorious in many battles. What was your station as warrior, spirit? War chief. Eldest warrior and leader of clan. Do you judge yourself a failure? How can that be when you have died in honor on the battlefield? Honor not. Failed village. Defeated by only one man. This spirit is restless for justice. Spirit, what say you? Village doomed my dishonor. These spirits are very pessimistic. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Omitok, the fierce one. How did you earn such a title, Shade? Fought like wild jaguar in battle. What was your station as warrior, spirit? New blood, young to tribe, yet not the youngest, older than zero men. Fear not, young warrior. The village is not doomed as long as I draw breath. So thought. Our clan, quick to battle, did we run, quick to die. An unhappy spirit. Spirit, what say you? Well, you're doing a good job of that. Well done. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Epic Hawk. Hunt the waters. Bounty of the seas. A fisherman? Yes, and warrior. And husband. Why do you stand here, Fallen One? What does this totem mean to you? Stand where I fall. Temple of wind protects even in death. I mean no harm to the temple. I am Olmec, holy warrior. My and deceptions, my king evil one, none may pass. To destroy! You are confused, lost warrior. I speak the truth. Quetzalcoatl is my enemy as well. Step aside so that I may visit the temple. Prove. Prove words. True. Act of faith. Perform the test before I grant passage. If he is a spirit, then surely we could just walk through him? I accept your challenge, Shade. What will be this test of faith? If 
A gift for your wife? Of what kind? Glimmers, circles, neck. A necklace? Simple enough. I will find one for her and... How special is this? Crafted for her. Make her captive. Was your wife? She who has my heart. I meant her name. What is her name? You will. I hope that she doesn't have his actual heart. I'm hoping that he meant that metaphorically. What was your station as a warrior, spirit? Young I was, much older than Omitok. Big totem pole. The path is blocked. Perhaps another time. What's the spirit going to do exactly? See, look. Nice. Such destruction. Surely these people did not deserve this fate. A truly venerable woman. Old woman, what say you? I see the oracle was successful in summoning you. Although at this point, I don't see much use in it. The damage has been done. You have no purpose here. What do you mean by that, bitter crone? I am Olmec. I fight for the gods themselves. You sound as zealous as my husband. The fool. I'm not sure what accents this woman is going for, but... There's a hint of Irish in there. What man would be mad enough to wed your sour tongue, old one? Ha! Ah. Tezakato. The witch is my husband. He fathered two fine warriors with me, and now he runs to meet death's embrace. Meanwhile, I must sit obediently while he throws away his life on a fool's errand. What errand do you speak of? He plans on fighting that bastard. Undead king using his small magic. He is doomed and will die in vain. Where are your two sons? Did they die in battle? Yes. Quetzalcoatl shattered their bodies as though they were made of straw. Soon my fool husband will join them, and I'll be truly alone. What is that you are mixing? Nothing important, holy one. Just a simple balm for my aching bones. Age has not been kind to me. Simple pottery. An empty copper bowl. It must have been used for sacrifices. What's he trying to do here? Is he breaking the wall or fixing the shelf or what? This lowly worker appears strong and proud. You there, what is your station? I was the stonemason. Now I am village chief. What are you? And why do you enter this village? I am Olmec, holy warrior. You dare address me in that tone? I do. You may frighten the others, but you'll get no such satisfaction from me. Where were you when we needed you most? Your arrival now means nothing to me. You're too late. Yeah, I wouldn't piss off the guy with a sledgehammer. You say I am late, but you are wrong. 
much is that so? My precious daughter lies crushed beneath these rocks. The day Quetzalcoatl arrived, I prayed to your god with all my heart. Can you come to us now? The warriors are dead. The temples are in ruins. My daughter is dead. You say your daughter is dead? How do you know? She was in her hut when the rocks fell. Look around you. Death is everywhere. I have lost everything that is dear to me. You say you were the stonemason? Yes, that is my trade. Like my father before me, and his father before him, I work the earth, shaping it to my will. I am a simple craftsman who now rules what's left of this village. A heavy burden on my weary shoulders. There are worse fates, Mason. I know. I have seen what happens to those who oppose Quetzalcoatl's rule. His punishment is swift and severe, in death as it was in life, when he ruled this village as king. Yes, but he was just and true back then, not this abomination which has returned to destroy us. We revered him when he was of flesh and bone, and upon his death, we crafted a tomb as a monument to his greatness. I myself crafted the stones and jewelry he was adorned with. Mason, I would have a word with you. I have spoken with the spirit of Tepetak, warrior and husband to Kalkihut. The fisherman? His spirit remains here? Yes. You have the necklace that belongs to his wife. Give it to her, or I will shatter your limbs like twigs. Very well. Tell your spirit I will deliver his gift. How do we find out the name of his wife? He refused to tell us the name. And we just plucked it out of nowhere. Why does this woman worry so? Woman, what say you? Olmec, you have come to us. Thank the gods for our prayers have been answered. Yes, your prayers reach me and I am here. What is your station? I am the wife of the chieftain. Why was your husband spared Quetzalcoatl's wrath? He was praying inside the temple of the Jaguar when the evil one came. By the time the echoes of death reached him, the battle was over. He emerged to find nearly the entire village destroyed. He was bound by tradition to become chieftain. Thus he cannot attack Quetzalcoatl, and now he broods in a dark mood. He sees himself a coward for not being able to die in battle with the others. What happened during the battle? At first, when we saw our revered king back from the land of the dead, we were overjoyed. We thought he had come back to lead us to great victories. Instead, he came to destroy us. Although our warriors fought fiercely, Quetzalcoatl scattered them like broken twigs. After they had been killed, he unleashed his dark magic on us. What magics did he wield? He caused a massive wave to come down and crush the Temple of Water. He caused the earth to shake violently. The mountain broke apart and almost crushed all the huts, bearing the Temple of Wind. Only the Temple of the Jaguar withstood his power. You speak of tradition as though it is undesirable. Your husband should be honored to be chieftain. But Olmec... Oh, wise one, it was never his desire to become chieftain, especially not this way. Working with the earth and revealing the secrets it hid inside brought him great joy. Not everyone seeks power. Who remains in the village? There are but a handful of us left. My husband does what he can to repair the damage of the walls of the huts, but his mind, it's elsewhere. The death of our beloved daughter weighs heavily upon him. She was killed in the battle? My husband insists that she was crushed beneath the boulders which destroyed the village walls. You speak as though you disbelieve your own words. I cannot help myself. I somehow feel that she still lives. Can one woman's sorrow be so great? You'd be very surprised by that. 
Woman, what say you? Why do you weep so? <laughs> Forgive me, O oh Holy One, for not showing you the proper respect. But I am racked with grief over the loss of my husband. He died in the battle with Quetzalcoatl. Who was your husband? His name was Tepictoc. He was a warrior, but also the village's best fisherman. He lived off the gifts of the sea and devoutly worshipped the goddess of water. The cool walls of the water temple were to his liking and he often spent his days in deep meditation and prayer there. <laughs> I have seen that the water temple is flooded. Yes, by the evil one's doing. Quetzalcoatl called down a wave of water to destroy it, but it still stands proudly in the water. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is the wife of, was it Tepic Tok? But even she does not give hers her name. So how do we discover it? Wait, come back here. I have spoken with the Mason Dead One. He will deliver the gift as promised. is open to me. Wow, that's quite brutal. The Temple of Wind. Boulders are no match for the mighty Olmec. must be the stonemason's daughter. Your parents miss you greatly. I will take you home. Kotulkyu, you, my daughter. You have returned from death. Fool! She was trapped within the temple. Had you not been so stubborn and full of self-pity, you would have realized that. Oh, my precious daughter! I'm so sorry. Go see your mother. She misses you terribly. I was quite sweet in a way. Uh, there. No, nothing more to say about your own daughter, being alive and all that. Ah, a precious little one. Surely there is another way. There is another way, we just walk slightly to the left and try again. Kyle, why were you in the temple? The shiny rock, it's pretty, and I like the music too. Shiny rock? Yes. It's a big crystal, like the one's father makes into jewelry. He made a scary mask before, and a necklace, and a lot of rings. What music do you speak of, little one? The gongs. Sometimes I can get a few of them to make the same sound. It's fun! Those flies are really loud. A large crystal. I can see something inside. So here we have the gongs, and we need to press them in a certain order. 
And when we press one... These gongs produce music. It stays vibrating for a short time. I'm not sure if there is actually a clue to solve this puzzle, but we need to press them from the largest to the smallest, as you can see there. It's only a short time, but it does keep going for a little while. So I believe the order is as follows. The wind totem. Let's get out of the way of those flies. Who's speaking? from a holy heart, and a heart which does not bleed. Place these two offerings in the bowls before you, and then you may enter the temple of the Jaguar. Fair enough, will do. The Jaguar head, it speaks. Murals of ancient heroes. What? No painting of the mighty Olmec? Give it time. This one appears to have died very young. Get back here, you. Spirit, what say you? On battle, died, never to see honor on battlefield. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Xylonen, the youngest warrior. Unproven. Was this but your first battle? And last. Never to fight again. What was your station as warrior, spirit? Youngest of clan. Fierce I fought, but no avail. Honor comes with courage, young spirit. Your courage at such a young age is honorable. Walk with head held high. Cannot dishonor or die in first battle. Curse me for eternity. Yeah, but you weren't the only one to die. It's not like. Yeah, he shouldn't be too dishonored. Even the most senior warrior died in the battle. Another hut. The air around it smells of magic. Is this old one preparing for battle? Old man, what say you? I say that the end is near. Quetzalcoatl will destroy us all, lest I find one who can bring me the pod of might. What name do you go by, Ancient One? My name is Tezecatl. I am the village's last hope. It is my duty as village witch to destroy this devil who plagues us. What is this pod you speak of? The sacred pod of might. It contains the seeds I require to finish my spell. Yet, there is no way to reach it. Why is that? It 
clings to the joining tree, surrounded by liquid fire. Not even your stone form could withstand its heat. So we need some kind of special shoes then. How does the tree survive if it is surrounded by fire? It is magic, as is the pod that grows on its mighty trunk. However, the magic is fading, and the limbs will soon wither and burn. There must be some way to reach it. Perhaps the ancient right of the warrior may be the answer. Right of the warrior? What will that old magic accomplish? It is old indeed, wise one. Though not practiced for many generations, it is rumored to have the ability to make a warrior impervious to the elements. Then I will go through the trials. Perform it. Forgive me, sacred one. I cannot. I don't remember the complete ceremony. However, the stonemason knows it. He is the village chief now, and is over at the huts. Why do you sit here, idle in the village instead of fighting? What kind of coward are you? Harsh words, your holiness. But I am not merely sitting here. I am meditating to gain the power needed to combat his awful magic. How do you expect to defeat a god, little man? I don't. He is very strong. I cannot possibly hope to defeat him. However, if I anger him enough with my spell, he will spend precious energy on me. That should sufficiently weaken him enough for you to defeat him. You would sacrifice yourself for the village? It must be done. Fair enough, it sounds like he has made up his mind. And there is no way to, to try and speak to him to stop, but needs must and all that. What spell are you preparing? It is called the Spirit Fire. It creates a mystic energy wave formed by the souls of the dead. I see the temples are nearly destroyed by Quetzalcoatl's dark magic. Yes, the totems may be in grave danger. What totems are you speaking of? The statues sheltered within the temples. These statues represent the purity of the gods themselves. I believe Quetzalcoatl fears them, else why would he seek to destroy them? Your wife mourns for you, witch. She knows what I plan, and fears the future without me. She has seen our two warrior sons die at the hands of Quetzalcoatl. And soon, she will bury me. You're a good man. To be honest, I have a lot of respect for him. He's willing to sacrifice himself for the greater good. Oh, hi there. Big head. Many have been sacrificed on this spot. Some for good. Some for evil. Ah. Quetzalcoatl has desecrated the bodies of such honorable warriors. A statue. Quetzalcoatl's dark magic stirs the Earth's blood. There is the evil god himself. Quetzalcoatl! Why have you returned to this place? Olmec, I should have known you'd come. You follow your god's commands like the dog that you are. Go back down to your followers and wait for your death as they do. You are powerless against me here! You dare speak to me in such a tone? I have enough power to handle the likes of you. Ha! 
Empty threats from a cowardly warrior. Why do you seek to destroy those that worshipped you? You were their greatest king! Ah, they are loyal to none but themselves. Soon after my death, they stopped offering sacrifice, and now they will pay with their lives! Why have you left your heavenly throne? For a god to return to this land is a disgrace! I am more than a god. I am a warrior. That, that idle throne is an empty chair that threatens to devour my eternal soul. I will conquer this world one village at a time until all are destroyed! And then what? When there is nothing left to conquer, what will you do? I grow with the power of the souls I consume. When this world has been stripped of all its souls, I will be the most powerful god of all! I will conquer the heavens! <laughs> I'm guessing that this is meant to represent Dr. Morgan and his rise to power and then becoming power hungry and sacrificing anyone who gets in his way. A large statue. Violent earth magic has made it unstable. I'm guessing that hands can make it even more unstable. This must be the Pod of Might. A tree growing in the lava. The lava has cooled in the water and now forms a solid span of rock. This water is impure. What does this noble warrior seek? Spirit, what say you? What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? This warrior. Clan. Shaven Head Otanmi. The Shaven Head Otanmi? Yes. Savage Destroyers. What was your station as warrior spirit? In my crime. Older than Tivitak. Younger than Hutzalak. Clearly, this is the Temple of Water. I keep hearing the heartbeat, but there isn't actually an action sequence on this level. Clearly, this is the Temple of Water. Carved stone. It seems to be a piece of something greater. Images carved in stone. Somehow these hold the key to the Water Temple. Apparently, these symbolize the Fishman's Creed. But we haven't actually been told any kind of order of what they should be in. Surely there's a hint somewhere, but right now I don't ha don't know where it is. So I was just going to press these in the correct order. Ah, it is some kind of mirror, but what is its purpose? A ruby fish. Its blood-like coloring must indicate something important. Is this another red herring? From what I've read, there are three in this game. And I've found two. I've not quite worked out where the third one is yet. I may have already passed by it. The water totem.
we have two out of three totems. The last one we need now is the Jaguar totem. But before we get there, we need two items. This pot of might. Our next port of call is the stonemason or the chieftain. Whatever you want to call him. Your husband is a brave man, old one. He faces Quetzalcoatl to help the good of the village. He knows he will not survive the battle. And what of me? I need his protection more than the rest of the village. He should be here for me. Still your selfish tongue prone. He does what is required. He faces death as a brave warrior should. You are as much of a fool as him. Wow, how dare you. I have found your daughter, Mason. It is time for me to undergo the right of the warrior. You are truly honorable, Olmec. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I should never have doubted you. Enough groveling, Chieftain. Get on with it. Yes, of course. There are two stages to the ritual. The first, an act of bravery and heroism. You've already shown that by returning my daughter to me. Second, you must recite the names of the warriors who have come before you in order of their lineage. I'd like to undergo the second stage of the ritual. Do you know all six names of the warriors who came before you? Yes, I do. Then let us begin, Olmec. Name the six warriors, starting with the youngest and ending with the eldest. I hope that you have been paying attention. Starting from youngest to oldest, we have... Oh god, how do I pronounce these names again? Zilonan? He is the youngest. Zilonan! Then we have Omatok, who is older than Zilonan. Omatok! And Tepetok has said that he's older than Omatok. Tepetok! And then... Santiotl, who is older than Tepetok, but younger than Hyutzilop. Santiotl! And Hutzlop is younger than Mixicotl, who is his older brother. Hutzlop! And obviously Mixicotl is the eldest. Mixquotl! You are most wise, Grand Olmec. You are now ready for the ancient magics of the land, handed down to me by my father and his father before him. To protect you from the mighty elements, I must combine your stone flesh with my blood and the magics of the earth. This will create a temporary magical barrier between yourself and the forces of nature. How long will it last? Not long. You must be swift in your quest. Blood of the holy. Flesh of the warrior. Married to the heart of the land in a union of protection and power. Hear my prayers for divine conjuring. Bring forth the sacred magics of the deep earth to shield this noble warrior from the harsh elements. It is done. Go forth and fulfill your destiny, Olmec. The fate of our village lies in your hands. Cheers, sailor. Let's go and get that pod. Must be the pod of might. I have the pod of might, old one. Here, work your magic. Very good. Thank you, sacred one. I will begin at once. 
I go to fulfill my destiny. May my sacrifice save the village. Sounded pretty painful. Although honorable in your sacrifice, the village is still in danger, old one. Quetzalcoatl has powerful magic at his disposal. M mask. Mask? What mask do you speak of? Death mask. His power c comes. From it. Where is it? B below the maze. <sighs> Thank you for your sacrifice. We need some blood, and here is some blood. An empty copper bowl. It must have been used for sacrifices. Many have been sacrificed on this spot. Some for good, some for evil. And now he's dead, let's go steal his stuff. The candles give off a powerful fragrance. A crystal heart. There's a pool of blood just here, so I'm guessing this... A sacrificial bowl filled with the blood of the witch doctor. Goes in here. Holy one, this blood is sacred indeed, but still, a second offering is required. The heart which does not bleed. Find this, and the door of the temple shall open. We have already found it. A crystal heart. The offerings are accepted. The Jaguar Temple door opens before sacred Olmec. The Jaguar Totem. What we have here is another puzzle. And how we solve that is by looking a little bit more closely at this temple just here. More specifically, these steps. As you can see here, there are seven different symbols and there are seven different sections on here and we need to go from top to bottom so we start out with the bull's head mm, stone wheels set to turn for some strange purpose and conveniently enough, they are actually in order. Although they have actually thrown in this symbol to throw you off.
The Jaguar's power is revealed. Surely Quetzalcoatl would have noticed that. The statue has revealed three circles on this plinth. And what we need to do here is place the totems in the correct spots. And they correspond to where the temples are located on the map. A ruby fish. Its blood-like coloring must indicate something important. The wind totem. So we know that the wind totem is in the bottom right. The jaguar totem. Which we have just come from. The water totem. Which is fairly obvious right now. Together, you son of a bitch! Molecular cohesion affirmative. Yes! Test cycle downloaded to DVD. Encryptor sequence completed. System shutdown activated. <laughs> 